This week on the Storycraft Society, we are going to be jumping back into our city board. We've got a lot to get done, but this week I've got some pretty cool things that I'm excited to show you all. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Garmin. This is the Storycraft Society. And this week, like I said, we're gonna be jumping back into the City Board Project. Now, I'm really excited about this project. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I really planned this thing out. So what I have done so far is that I've gotten all of the pieces glued together, as well as I've carved all of the block texture onto the sides of my pieces of XPS foam. This is going to be a huge board, at least a huge board for me. It is going to be in total, three foot by six foot long. It will fill up almost all of my gaming table, but what's more important about it is that it can be broken down into two separate three foot by three foot boards, which will be perfect for my games of Moonstone and Dungeons and Dragons. There's still a ton that needs to be done on these, so we've got a lot of things that we're doing this week. And the main reason that I wanted to film this video this week is to show you all a clever trick that I came up with for doing the small staircases that I think are going to turn out so, so nice. But we're not gonna start there because we've got a couple of other things to do. So what we're gonna do is jump down to the table here and I'll show you what we need to do next. So like I said, there's a couple of things that I have to do on my pieces before we jump into the staircase trick. The first thing that I've done is that I've marked out where all of my sidewalks are going to go. I'm gonna need to glue my little sidewalk pieces that I already cut out. They'll work like my curbs that are gonna run around and then bricks will go in here, whereas this will be like a sandy dirt texture. Another thing that we have to do is everywhere on the board where there were these cut lines, these were made for like breaking the XPS in a construction setting, it left these nasty, nasty marks. So I ended up making pieces that are going to look like little pillars. Those are going to get slotted in to the foam here like that. And that's going to mask all of those seams. Once we have that done on all of the pieces, then we can finally get to my neat little staircase trick. Let's jump into that. Gonna be a couple of time lapses, I think, then we'll get to it. Oh, check out the block texture. It turned out really well. I think that carved always looks worse than individually laid bricks, but in this setting, gluing all of these bricks individually would have taken way too long, so the carved will work just fine, and then all of the individually laid stuff on top will just pull it all together. Let's go to some time lapses. So now that we have all of the curbs glued in place and all of the pillars put in place, it's now time to dive into the staircases. But one thing that I just wanna say before we jump into that, and I think that this is very, 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 very important for me to say in this situation, because it's something that I needed to hear when I was first watching YouTube to learn how to craft. In a lot of these videos, there are time lapses and time jumps and all of that sort of thing. Gluing down all of these little pieces and carving all of this block texture, and eventually when I get into gluing all of my bricks, it takes a lot of time. And I feel like in videos like this one, it's really easy for me to make the content enjoyable by speeding everything up and making it look like it was super fast and concise and easy to do. But truly something like this takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of dedication. And if yours is taking you a long time and you're feeling stressed out, like it's going so slow and you watch crafters on YouTube and they look like they're crafting really, really fast, that's nonsense. Don't feel that way. Everybody takes the amount of time that they take to craft to craft and that's okay. Like I said, this took me forever. It looked fast on camera, took a long time, but I'm glad that this step is done and now we have a couple more things to jump into. So let's jump back down to the table and we'll start looking at what my cool staircase technique is. I just said that it was cool. I think that it's interesting. Hopefully you enjoy it. All right, let's go. 
Okay, so the first step in this whole process actually started before I glued these pieces down. And what it was, was I decided what size my staircases were gonna be, and I went ahead and cut those out of these upper pieces. What that does is it leaves a perfect block that drops down in and I don't have to worry about finding this measurement because I already have it. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to split this off into layers so that what will end up happening is I will have a bunch of basically this piece but just stacked up. The next step from there is actually the really unique part because what then I'm going to do is start shaving off of each piece a little more, a little more, a little more. Eventually that's going to make up the size of my staircase. Once I have all of those cut, then I'm going to texture them with a tin foil ball and then glue them together going one layer at a time. I'm gonna use hot glue here because that's gonna give me an immediate dry. Eventually it will be all stacked up all the way up to the Top, and then it is ready to go. Now that I've got the whole thing put together here, I did realize that I forgot to mention one more step, and that's that we need to mark off and make all these look like individually laid stones. So the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna pull out my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna just go in and start scoring lines, making sure to offset them a little bit. And then once I have that done, I'm gonna take a pencil and widen all of those lines. Then what I do after I've got that done is I need to finish the lines straight down. So I'm gonna go through and do all of those the exact same way. And once that's done, I'll show you what it looks like up in the main piece. All right, now that I have all of my little stones carved in, it's time to mess with the best part of this whole little trick because now the staircase just perfectly slots down into where it's supposed to be. It's perfectly level. I have no issues there. That is my little staircase trick. We are one step closer to getting the entire board done. It seems like we have such a long way to go, but this is, like I said, one very cool step closer. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're enjoying this project. If you did, definitely leave me a like down below. A comment of how you think it is going is always super nice. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That helps out the channel so, 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 so much and it costs you nothing. Ring the notification bell if you want to know when our videos go live every week. But if you don't ring that, they go live every week on Thursdays, Eastern Standard Time at noon. But that's it for this video. I have a ton <laughs> ton, 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 ton of little bricks to lay. So for me, that's next. That'll be next week. All right, that's it. Until next week, I'll be seeing you.